everyone, this is Melanie Wales with Pure Angora Knits. Um, I am making this video today so that I can show everyone how I groom my beautiful bunnies. This English Angora Rabbit on my lap is my bunny named Raindrop, and she is a lilac English Angora. She is the second generation born here at my little homestead, and I just wanted to show everyone how what the process of grooming my bunnies is like. Unfortunately, there's, I think, been some sad videos going around of bunnies not being treated well, and it is in my opinion that every animal and being should be treated with the utmost respect um, and kindness and compassion. Um, and so I wanted to show you my process today of how I groom my bunnies and how I remove their wool. So I usually sit them on my lap and calm them down, you know, pet their nose, they love that. And then I use various combs and I usually start with grooming their face because they love that. They love their nose to be groomed. And Raindrop is kind of in a place where she has already had a lot of her wool removed, believe it or not, she is um, kind of in the process of growing her, her wool back, so she's not even nearly as fluffy as she could be. Um, this little bag here shows like all the wool I've been collecting, so there's quite a bit. Um, I've also spun a lot of her wool already, and I've already washed some wool that I will be knitting very soon, like today or tomorrow. So I just kind of go through, and all of our bunnies, some days they want to be groomed and some days they don't. They'd rather play and so we just let them play <laughs> instead. But it's very important for them to be well groomed all the time um, for their health because bunnies cannot ingest um, too much wool or else their tummies can have lots of problems and they can suffer from a serious condition called wool block which can be fatal if not treated properly. So. Here we make sure to groom them, um, you know, once or twice a week, if not more, if they're really losing a lot of wool. And so she's very used to being groomed. She um, is, as far as chill factor, probably medium. Like some of our bunnies don't like to be groomed as much, um, but they let us do it and they're very happy to let us do it. So I use this little brush I have here, it's kind of like a little wee comb to get in there. So I cannot spin matted wool, um, and so definitely grooming them and keeping the mats down is also really important so um, that I have really lovely wool to spin. And so as you see I'm starting to get off some. And I collect that. Um, and again, she's pretty well groomed. She's kind of in the growing back process of being um, in her growth. Angora rabbits, they naturally grow and release their fiber. So they don't have to be shaped. Um, as, say, maybe a sheep needs to be shorn. Um, instead, every three to four months, they grow out their wool and then they release it from their body and then they grow a new batch in and so my job is just to remove the wool the wool that has already that she's already let go of. And so some days when they have like when everything's ready to come out, just lots and lots come out. But like I said again, today this is kind of just a little bit to come out and mainly for her to, um, you know, to keep the mats down and also just to give her some, some love and attention. And so with every bunny that I have, I do this at least once a week. Um, and it keeps them happy, it keeps them healthy. Um, 
you have to groom Angora rabbits regularly for their health and well-being. So I have a few brushes I use, um, just brushes I got from, you know, a pet store, and each one does a little something different to help me to get in there to the wool that's ready to come out. Some brushes, they like a little less than others, but it doesn't hurt them, it just it might feel a little little weird. Some areas of their body are a little more sensitive, like their bellies, like with any animal, and so just be extra gentle. And we just try to listen to our animals, our rabbits, and if they're not feeling it that day, we don't brush them. We try to let them play and have a good time so they get out any of their rascally rabbit energy that they might have because they do have that. So it takes many months for them to grow enough wool for me to make the pieces that I make, um, especially the bigger pieces like the scarves and the hats and ear warmer headbands and neck warmers. Um, brush that I was using before, the blue handle, this one, helped to kind of loosen up some of the, the fiber that was kind of stuck in there so I can remove it. And as you see, she's very content today. Um, you know, she's an easy going bunny. Her name is Raindrop. She spends a lot of time napping. <laughs> Um, she's one of our bunnies whenever we go and check in on our bunnies every day. She's often just like napping, um, totally passed out and relaxed. Um, and so because they are so fuzzy, I usually wear an apron or have a towel on my lap and to help like the wool so it doesn't get all over my clothes. And they tend to sometimes can get mats around their cheeks. So I make sure to keep that nice and brushed. Today is more just like removing just a little bit of excess, but again, like I said, she doesn't have a lot um, to remove. Just more kind of freshening her up, making her feel pretty. She is a little lady after all. And everybody likes to feel pretty and well taken care of and well groomed. And then at the end, before they're ready to be done for the day, they get a nice like overcoat, just kind of smooths everything out, gets any last little bit of fur that they might when they're grooming themselves, and just brush one side of them. <laughs> so I have to turn them around so that I can get to the other sides. But they're very relaxing animals and they're just incredibly sweet and that's one of the reasons we we have them. 
because they're just such nice, nice little bunny rabbits. One of the sweetest animals. So, that's what I do. And so she is finished for the day. She's my nice groom, so you can get a good look at her. This is little raindrop. Sometimes can be a rascally rabbit, but she's a happy bunny, and that's how I groom all my rabbits. Thank you for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day.